Okay, Rick, so do you want to talk us through where you're at with the R8 Gen 2 twin turbo project, please, buddy? Yeah, so I think last time you saw it, mechanically it was complete on the ramp, uh, turbo kit was on, gearbox was back in after we've done the clutches, um, fluids, and I think we fired it up. So now we've just put lights back on, wing support back on, centre trim. Uh, we've sat the MoTeC on it, um, so you can see that everything's plugged in. Sensors are wired in, charge cooler pump is wired in. Uh, these are the two comms leads, so that's the master comms lead and the slave is the other side. Um, so I've got them running to network cables inside the car. Uh, we've calibrated the start file, we've calibrated the clutches, uh, all the additional sensors we've calibrated. Um, it starts and runs, we've done quite a bit on cold start and we've started to tune low and mid range. Um, so basically no wastegate control, no boost really, up to sort of like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 bar. Um, yeah, so you just kind of keep incrementally working up through it. Uh, no leaks. Nope, we're all good. Um, and yeah, we just keep going till we're in a good place. Uh, we've got a new firmware revision to go on it. So we've been dealing with uh, MoTeC directly the exhaust button on the steering wheel would control the valves, but it wouldn't latch. Um, what I mean by latching is, it's a camber signal from a steering wheel to the ECUs. The ECU would see the camber signal and react, but then as soon as you let go of the button, it would open the valves again. So Darren at Motex given us a new software version where that is now a latched signal. So we can turn it on, we can turn it off, um, and we'll test that later today as well. So in theory, the drive select button will be his maps. The exhaust mode button will open and close his exhaust valves, but the ECU will do that automatically like it does in a stock car as well. And then the performance button will probably be rolling boost. So we'll set, that will be set up on the road. So yeah, she's strapped down, ready to go. Cool, so I mean, that kind of illustrates with this project the, the sort of length that you go to to make sure that everything works. It's almost like a factory, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the good thing about sort of the, the MoTeC kit. I mean, it's got Hurricane stamped on it. So a lot, of the, a lot of the development has been done dealing with guys in the USA. And they primarily do Lamborghinis. So the R8 stuff, uh, so for example, there's no firmware revision for RWS, which is the rear wheel R8. So they've released that as a new firmware package. Then there's a couple of different software revisions. So if you set the ECU up wrong, the gearbox doesn't like it because the low power R8 and the high power R8 have different software revisions inside the gearbox and they need different signals. So yeah, there's, I mean, I can show you on the camera some of the different things we can go through to set up, but you can imagine it's not just ignition fuel and boost tables, it's, it's pretty complicated. And then when you go and throw in something different like changing the clutches, that completely changes the torque, how the torque travels to the gearbox and how then the engine needs to control the torque output for the gearbox control. And they're just tied in so tight together that you change one and it either positively or negatively affects the other. So you just need to stay on top of it all the time. Um, it actually takes longer to do the drivability than it does to just turn the wick up and tune the power. Good stuff. So um, you're looking at another week or 10 days development with this? Yeah, that's it. We just keep going. I mean, luckily enough, we've obviously done a couple of these already on Motec. So, you know, we start from a good place. This has some slight different variances to the other car we've tuned. So, for example, the turbos and the wastegates are different. So that changes our what we call feed forward table for the other sort of tuners or other calibrators watching. They would call that base duty. So the wastegate would have a base duty to make a certain amount of boost um, or charge pressure. And by changing your turbo, changing your wastegates, you then need to change your base duty. Um, Motec call it feed forward. So we have to sort of recalibrate that table. But then we get it out on the road and make sure it's not too stabby or it doesn't come on in a big sort of hit and overwhelm the chassis. You can tune on a dyno and it's great, but you kind of, you then need to get on a road and kind of smooth out the, smooth out the torque and, and get that feel for it, get that nice sort of rounded feel. So 
yeah, we've got a, another day or two on the dyno. I want to change a couple of things on the turbo control and test those to make sure they're a positive change. Then it'll come off. We'll make sure we've got no leaks. We'll final fit the bodywork. And then Jordan's going to have it for a couple of days just to make it look pretty uh, before it goes back. And then it's all good. Great stuff. So let's just have a quick, quick look at the business end. So obviously the rear panel's back on now with the lights, but there's still quite a lot on show. A lot we can see. And the main reason is, like today now, we're going to make some changes and I need to get into the wastegate. Um, so that just makes life easier. Uh, you can constantly look for leaks. You're constantly on top of leaks, making sure nothing's leaking, nothing's smoking, nothing's touching, rubbing, melting. Um, so that's easy enough to just do visual checks in between poles. Um, and then the last sort of thing you do is just bolt it all back together. Great stuff. So let's just have a look, quick look around the car itself. Murdered out as well. Yeah. Black on black. You probably see me reflected in this as well. Yeah. The only sort of body enhancement it's got is the Capristo front lip. So it doesn't normally have this. This is a Capristo item. It's really nice as well. Carbon fibre, of course. Yeah, and the weave matches the wing mirrors and the plates. Carbon interior. Just carbon on carbon on carbon. It is a great spec, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. Cool. Well, until next time. See you soon.